commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world, and this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to a king's son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. From oppression and violence, he redeems their life, and precious is their blood in his sight. May prayer be made for him continually, and blessings invoked for him all day long. May his name endure forever, his fame continue as long as the sun. May all nations be blessed in him, may they pronounce him happy. All please rise. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring good news to the poor and freedom to prisoners. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus, filled with the power of the Spirit, returned to Galilee, and a report about him spread through all the surrounding country. He began to teach in their synagogues and was praised by everyone. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom, he stood up to read. And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, he has sent to me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And Jesus rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. The Gospel of the Lord. The topic of St. John, the evangelist, the one who wrote the first reading, is always love. It's always love. We love because he first loved us. Those who say, I love God and hate their brothers and sisters are liars. At the core of our religion, of our faith, is love. Faith without love is not a faith. And that faith, yes, must be within Christ. But then Christ is himself the love sent by the Father to save us because he loved, the Father loves me and loves you. 
So the core of everything of his teaching and of his life and of his action is always love. We love because he first loved us. Many times we think, where am I in my life? Who thinks about me? No one considers me. But there is someone who loves us so much that we don't understand him, but he's always there with us. And that is God. God among us. Because he loves us, he doesn't want to be separated. You see, when he loves someone, he wanted that with that person all the time. But before we do it as human being, God did it already. In fact, when he was born, he remained with us. I will be with you until the end of the world. It seems like that God cannot do without us. Why? Because we come from his womb, womb of love. And he wants us to love. How do I know that I love the other, that I love God? It's simply because if I love my brothers and sisters, but if I hate, if I don't forgive, if I, don't, if I gossip, if I complain, how far I can love my brother and sometimes expose him or expose her. Just like that, mistreat the person that is mistreating God. That is gossiping about God. That is hating God. When I don't forgive and when I hate. It cannot recon be reconciled together. Our faith and the love must go together. They are one. Faith is the root and the fruit, the fruit of that faith is love. That's why we'll never be able, we'll never exhaust the word love. Because God is an exhausting, he's an infinite. God is love. That's why we saw the gospel, Jesus himself. Yesterday we read about Jesus, we had compassion of them. And today what is his mission, he tells us clearly. Someone who came to cure. Someone who came to give sight. Someone who came to give peace. Out of love, all this can be done by everyone. Out of love. So love one another as I have loved you. And he showed us that is the only way that gives us peace and joy. I, Lord God, for creation, for sin, goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of our creation, for see you the have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, to become for us our spiritual thing. Yeah. 
Hey brothers and sisters, my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which we grow, by which is brought about the glory of the exchange, and by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very soul. We ask this, O Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is really right and it's just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the mystery of the word made flesh in the light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our minds. So that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the bountiful holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly this passion, he took prayer and gave him thanks, brought it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of thee, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, proclaim your death and Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your churches spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be prepared for eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Christ, 
Savings command and spoken by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious and grant the peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all vicious as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the kingdom of the power and the glory of Jesus and our Lord of Jesus Christ, you say to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, and accord us with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Pray for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my, my, in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Although you have come already, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you the body of Christ.
Let's pray. O oh God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work we pray the effect of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift, to his, this very gift itself. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be your King, we humbly pray. And with our praise of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast them to hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Amen. Have a good night.